Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to go all over the training and data sets section of Leonardo AI. If you still don't have access to Leonardo AI, make sure to check my first video in this series where I explain how you can get early access. Just like all my other videos, I'll have the timestamps for all of the sections mentioned in the description below. So if you want to skip to a specific section, you can just click on that timestamp directly. All right, let's get started. So first, I wanted to explain to you what training and data sets mean. Most AIR tools provide a pre-existing set of models that you're allowed to use. However, Leonardo AI is unique in the way that it allows you to create your own models, which you can see in this community model section. All of these have been created by different members of the community using their own pictures. So today I'm going to create a brand new data set using pictures that I already have available. There's a couple of things I wanted to mention before you get started on your data set. The number of images you need is ideally from 8 to 15. The minimum images you can use is 5 and the maximum is 30. And they also provide you an example of bad and good data sets. So if you look here, there's a picture of a cat, a frog. Um, they're all in different kinds of environments. They're all wearing different kinds of things. This is like a photograph, this is like a close-up shot, this is like a cartoon. So the variation here is way too much. So this is a bad data set. As opposed to that, this is a good data set. So they have 12 images and most of them are of the same picture style. They're also standing in the same location. This is a really good set of pictures to use for a data set. The pictures I'm going to use is somewhere in the middle. They're fairly consistent, but they're not perfect. So I'm using these pictures. They're all golden statues of different kinds of animals. So this is a spider, a peacock, an eagle, a cow, a chicken, a cat, a bunny, a crow, a beetle, and an ant. So these are the pictures I'm going to use today to generate a data set called Golden Statues. To do that, come to the section Training and Data Set and create a new data set. I'm going to call it Golden Statues. Here you can upload the pictures you want to use. One thing to mention is that they currently only support 512 by 512 or 768 by 768. So if the images you choose to have is of a different shape, you might need to change the dimensions of that to match what the data set allows. So after you have this, you click train model, select the training resolution. The images that I have are 768 by 768. They have a drop down for category. I'm going to say characters. The instance prompt is something that people need to use in their prompts for them to use your model. I'm going to say gold statue. You can provide a small model description. In the current beta testing phase of Leonardo AI, they currently allow you to create 10 different models every month. Now that you have all the photos and all the sections covered, you just click start training. It's going to show you a message training is in progress and they will email you when it's complete. This process can take quite some time, so make sure to be patient. And if you want to see the status, you click view status and it's going to show up in your job status section as golden statues, the job name and the characters and that it's processing. So I'm going to let this process and come back in a bit. All right, it took me around five something minutes and the status is shown as done with a green check mark. At this point, it should show up in your data sets right here. If you want to edit this, you can hover over it and click edit data set and you can change any of the pictures or change the description or anything else. Here, you can click on any specific picture and remove that or you can add more pictures here to retrain the model so it improves and changes according to your needs. Cool, now you can go back to this AI image generation section. Go to this fine tune model dropdown and select custom model. When you do that, you're going to see the model you created in the Your Model section of the Fine Tune Models. Click View. Now it gives you the option of Generate with this model. Click that. Cool. So your Fine Tune model is now selected in the drop down. I'm going to use a prompt that I used in my previous video Majestic Golden Retriever. But as you see, I need to use the instance prompt that I selected while creating the model. So instead of just saying that, I need to say gold statue of a majestic golden retriever i'm going to keep everything else at its defaults and click generate cool this looks beautiful i have a statue of a golden retriever in the style that i trained my model to be let me try another one this time i'm going to change it to a majestic horse like i used in the last video 
cool this came out really unique as you see this style of a horse resembles one of the pictures that i have in my data set so if i go back to my data set see the cow picture i used this is the picture of a cow and this is the picture of a majestic horse so if i want my horse to not have horns like this i can now go back to my data set and remove this picture I hope you got some value from this video and see how a training a data set works and how you can edit it around according to your needs. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. So till the next video, thank you so much.